The following presentation of Justin Scott and Spiegel Shouldn't Be on TV is brought to you by Jones Junction, located just 15 minutes from White Marsh Mall, Jones Junction. On this edition of Justin Scott and Spiegel Shouldn't Be on TV, watch as the guys upgrade their look with rock star Dorothy. <gasps> Birthday eyes. Look at that. See former American Idol contestant Daughtry judge a singing competition. That's true. With that said, it does sound like you took your one remaining foot and put it on a George Foreman grill. Here's Scott's tale of an interesting block party guest. He goes into his phone and brings up these photos, and there was an effing stripper on my grandfather's front a lawn. A male stripper. A male stripper with fire. And find out what happens when Spiegel sleeps. All that and more, plus a great live performance from Dorothy at Royals opening day. You've heard the band Dorothy on 98 Rock, and of course the band's namesake Dorothy is beautiful, one of the most stylish rockers out there, so we enlisted her help to make us look great. She took us to Vogue, revisited in Roland Park, and tried to dress us up. Check it out. This is Chris Anderson. She is the owner, the proprietor of Vogue Revisited, and we need to revisit our fashion. You've pointed some selections out to us today. What, yep. what are you looking to dress guys like us up so we can look like rock stars like Dorothy? I have plenty. Plenty oh, of... Oh, what okay. is that? Okay. <laughs> what majestic... <laughs> look, no, look, look at this! Look, look, look! We're on brand! Look at this! Guess who's going to the fitting room right now? <laughs> Woo! Will that fit? Oh, yes. I don't know. We'll find out. What about this? Right what about now. this? Yes. Look, we look like twins. Twinsies. Say yes to, say yes to the best. <laughs> say yes to the best. Can I, uh, can I get a hat? Can I get a, can I get a hat from someone? I don't want anybody. I don't want anybody to see my hat. Nope. <laughs> what? That's a, that's a hard no. What? <laughs> What? You what? look like you're working in an office in the 80s. Okay, <laughs> all right. To be a rock star, you gotta be like all skinny and like, like I'll never fit in with that. Look at this. Know about. Don't ever show this to my family. This is the real me. Yes, on that. You liking that? Oh, ooh. This. This is what uh, Dorothy picked out. Well, part of it. I didn't pick that out. Not a chance. How about okay, this? You're good. You're done. You just Do you like the thing? You're done. Do you, you like need the a thing? Harley Davidson. Like I know. I need. I need like a little graphic too. How about this? Need a motorcycle. <laughs> what are you thinking of this right here? So, how's that? How's that treating everyone? I just have one question. Is that treating everyone nice? What's that? How do you feel about living on a tour bus for three months? Pretty good. Pretty. Pretty good. <laughs> Turn me into your pleasure toy. This is why she's a rock star. This is, look. I have a good eye, I'm this. not gonna lie. Got it from my mama. But you gotta unbutton it and show your chest hair. Oh. <gasps> Join my OnlyFans. Avert thy eyes. Look at that. Look. Can I put a hat over the. Like that? Yeah. My professional opinion. Cowboy, oh, cowboy hat. My professional opinion is that you need a cowboy hat. Close. Not quite, but we'll just let that one slide. Well, what do you think? <laughs> okay, I don't want to show too much cleavage. Right. Dorothy, right? This is me, like rock star on the beach, vacation stuff. Look at this. No? You need a margarita, or five. I feel like Jackie Onassis. <laughs> I know, it's it's and a, a lot of sexy. A pet monkey. A lot of sexy. Pet monkey! And a lot of alcohol. Oh, what is this? What did you put on me? What is this? Real some sort gold. of a some sort of a, a, a bedroom thing? It's gold. Okay. <laughs> Nailed it! My work here is done. What? Goodbye. No! Ladies and gentlemen, someone told me Baltimore likes to rock. Hit it! 
Well, didn't work out for us. We're back in our street clothes. But Dorothy, thank you for trying to make us rock stars. We just couldn't pull it off. We couldn't pull it off. We this tried. It starts on the inside. <laughs> yes. We do not have it on the inside. No, nope. I'm a folk music singer on the inside. This guy does country and he just screams uncontrollably at children. Thank you to Chris, by the way, yeah. from Vogue Revisited for Vogue making Revisited. today hazardous. Stop by Roland Park, right around the corner from the station on TV Hill. You're not going to find a better consignment shop in the city. Thank you so much to everyone. <laughs> Boys, the app actively started recruiting users last year and has proven to be very popular. While it currently has a limit of only 11,000 users close to New York, more than 9,000 people are on a wait list to join, and the creators are also planning to expand it nationwide and overseas soon. Mm -hmm. This is interesting. This seems like one of the more, how do I put this? Bumble, for example, is a woman-friendly dating app where the lady makes the first move. On, like, Tinder, uh, and some gross dude that's just going to you know send a picture of his eggplant without being asked for one. Bumble, you have... <laughs> Sorry. I, sorry, I meant to. I meant to. Oh, I, yeah. I apologize. I oh. meant it said buzzer big. Uh huh. I, I meant to play buzzing fly. Oh, I'm God. so sorry. No you know, problem. you know, because of Bumble. Oh, Bumble. <laughs> sorry, guys. We're gonna be I'm right back. <laughs> I've ruined the show. <laughs> So you've heard of American Idol, we have JSS Idol, and we found one of the best guest hosts we could possibly get from American Idol, Daughtry, and he helped judge one of our own singing competitions with our dear friends, Josh Spiegel, Joe Robinson, and Paul Mittemeyer. Enjoy the first two contestants, Paul and Joe. I'm going to okay. sing by the great Sam Cooke, <clears throat> three verses of Bring It On Home To Me, and I'm going to sell it, but I don't want you to think for two seconds, I think I'm good. If you ever change your mind about leaving leaving me behind oh bring it to me bring your sweet loving bring it on home to me yeah 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 that's oh, it all right yes I don't oh know how God. to explain it. I, it's so good, but yet so bad. I loved how um, how much joy you had on your there face you while you performing this. I also like how you weren't exactly sure which key, so you chose all of them. <laughs> just like of... I know what a key is. <laughs> Tina cut my hair yesterday, so. All right. Ah, okay. uh, yeah. Enough. Walked into the barber and said, give me the Amber Alert. So let's go ahead. <laughs> Tell me the name of the song. And who sings it? <laughs> All right, so so guys, uh, I'm gonna do uh, Bob Seger. Turn the page here. Okay. Okay. It's a long Boy, song. I, I love, love Bob Seger. Are we good? It's a tall order. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm do ready. Not screw this I'm up. So do not screw this, this up. Okay. All right. Hit it. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. <clears throat> oh Jesus. <laughs> On a long and lonesome highway east of Omaha. You can listen to the engine moaning out his one note song. You can think about the woman or the girl you knew the night before. Oh, this is so bad. Mm, mm. See, here I am on the road again. There I am. Up on the stage, here I go, playing star again, there I go, turn the page. Okay, I think that's going to do it. That's, that's about all we needed. <laughs> that gives us a nice sample size. I love your <laughs> effort. And I a lot think of effort. you meant well. And man, you just can't teach excitement. That's true. That's With true. that said, it does sound like you took your one remaining foot and put it on a George Foreman grill. That was a little difficult, wow. especially that final note. I'm not sure if there is a Z note. I know <laughs> A, B, E, E, F. That last note, it's like someone discovered a new element for the periodic table. I think you might have discovered an all new note. And for that, I commend you. 
that that's all I got. I don't know what else. I'll just say uh, in the immortal words of uh, Randy Jackson, "It's a no for me, dog." It's a no. For it's me. Me. <laughs> it reminds me of when uh, John Mayer did this "How to Write a Song" video, and he said, "Some say all the notes in music have been used. I say not so fast." Not so fast. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> I love the, that you had a, a, a metronome going the yeah, whole time. Yeah, full so body you, metronome. You didn't, yeah. you didn't rush it. You you made us wait for every note. And that's hard to do. And the way you stabbed every end of every word, um, there I go. <laughs> I mean, that that demands that demands attention. That that gets that gets the crowd in. And you did stab it much in the same way Michael Myers will stab a local town's oh, yeah. person. Oh, yeah. It's dead. It's dead. It, is, it is dead. It is Killed dead it. at your Literally. feet. Literally. Up next. A little bit of your pedigree from of your singing ability. Oh, you want me to start? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Yes. <laughs> That's or, exactly or that. what he said. Then there's a couple photos from behind the stripper. And, and who's in the front and row? And you see the crowd. First of all, the crowd is gigantic. It looks like the lawn at Merriweather. Dude, I've never heard a fart meander before. It's like a meandering fart. You're, you're, it's like your, fo- your fart forgot its keys. It was like patting its jacket before it went back inside. Part two, JSS Idol with our American Idol judge, Chris Daughtry. Yes, you heard Joe Robinson and Paul Minimeyer, but now the songbird of a generation, Josh Spiegel, will sing. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dunk on those two. (laughs) Today I'll be singing Somewhere Out There by Fievel the Mouse in an American Tale. You know what this does to me. You are digging deep. Why don't you give us a little uh, dossier, a little bit of your pedigree in singing, Spiegel? I'm sorry, what? A little bit of your pedigree of your singing ability. Oh, you want me to start? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. (laughs) Yes, that's exactly what he said. That too. (laughs) That too. What's going on right now? Okay. I I apologize. All right. And Josh Spiegel, please. Somewhere out there, beneath the pale moonlight, Mm. someone's thinking of me and loving me tonight. Somewhere out there, someone's saying a prayer that we'll find one another in that big somewhere out there. And even though I know how very far apart we are, it helps to think we might be wishing on the same bright star. And when the night wind starts to sing a lonesome lullaby, it helps to think we're sleeping underneath the same sky. Oh, oh my God. Wow, wow, wow. He's, a, he's not done. Or I can. Uh, so. <laughs> I, I, where, 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 where do you start with that? I mean, did you expect to wake up today, Chris Daughtry, and hear perfection? Did you expect to wake up this day and hear? I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm lost for words here. That was I cry. astonishing. I, felt, I felt you got a little emotional right there. Go ahead and cry. It's okay. Oh, that I was, have I, I have nothing negative to say about this. Your vibrato is, is consistent. You, you kept the same key throughout. 
You didn't, you looked a little terrified in certain moments, but it was matched by talent. Thank you. Thank you so much. Chris, if you'd like to do the honors, you can go ahead and announce Please. who the winner of JSS I mean, even, Idol is. It looks like Deadpool is even giving you the thumbs up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I mean, I think it's Spiegel. I think there it's we go. Yeah! very clear. There we go. I think it's oh, very clear. Wow. The winner of the first season of JSS Idol. And as we well know, it was the fifth season, 2006, I believe, when uh, Taylor Hicks was the Josh Spiegel of that Who's going to be the Chris Daughtry of this group, though? The person that, though they might not have won, they achieved the most prominence nationally and internationally. Who, who do you think is going to be the Daughtry of this group if Josh Beagle's the Taylor Hicks? I think I think Joe Robinson is, is the, the, the Chris Daughtry of this group. Paul Mittemeyer is the yes. correct answer. That's yes. right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mittemeyer, you can just go back Mittemeyer. into your hole. Well, <laughs> Up next... Who's in the front Who's row in the photo? with a He-Man sweatshirt on with my name on it? It says Scott. Okay. I'm in the front row. You're in the Situation Room with... Oh, Blitzer! <laughs> Why are you screaming Wolf Blitzer in your sleep? I have no idea. I didn't even hear that. Who doesn't love a good block party growing up, huh? The whole neighborhood gets together. Josh, you love yours, right? I didn't go to one. Wow. Well, I had a block party growing up, and we had some old photos surface, and you won't believe what we had at our block party. Check it out. Last year, I'm at my mom's house, my <laughs> Aunt Angie, and he goes, we're going through old photos. And he goes, what do I stumble upon? He goes, photos of the stripper at the block party confirming my fuzzy memory that there was a and i go dude i don't know what you're talking about what are you talking goes, about there's no way you could have been there he goes i go i don't i go i don't think i was there yeah, i don't remember must that. Have skipped that year and sure enough he goes into his phone and brings up these photos and there was an effing stripper on my grandfather's front a lawn male stripper a male stripper with fire one of the videos one of the pictures this <laughs> yeah, fire right. he's in a pink thong uh -huh. he's doing the moves and then like there's a couple of photos facing the stripper then there's a couple of photos from behind the stripper and, and who's you, in the front and row and you see the crowd first of all the crowd is gigantic. It looks like the How, lawn at Merriweather. Dude, it, there it's so, massive. There are so many people in that photo. And then if you zoom in, the lower left, who's in the front who's row in the photo? with a He-Man sweatshirt on with my name on it, it says uh, okay. Scott. I'm in the front row. You're watching a dude and with his tackle I don't know, around. I must have blocked this out because I still really don't oh have any memory God. of it. If they wanted to do something like this, Go into one of the backyards yes. and be like, hey, no kids allowed back here for yeah. the next 15 minutes. This is the minutes. VIP area. Yes, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was on the front lawn of my grandfather's house, a male stripper. Sleep Talk Audio, our buddy Josh, the news genius, records himself when he sleeps. You'll hear everything from night terrors to incredible flatulence. It's the dog. Man, you should hear some of the noises that comes out of this guy's butt. No, it's the dog. No, the butt. Not the butt, man. It's definitely the dog. It's this guy. Enjoy Sleep Talk Audio. It's the dog. First clip of fresh sleep talk audio. <laughs> <laughs> no! Yes! Oh my god! Rah! Rah! Coming out hot! Okay. okay, let's give the people what they want. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It's the greatest fight ever! <laughs> oh my god! It's like I've never heard a fart meander before. It's like a meandering fart.
like your, your, it's like your phone, your fart forgot its keys. It was like patting its jacket before it went back inside. Good God. <laughs> This will be the first one we play. Roll it. Roll what sir. What? <laughs> what the hell was that? What? It's CNN oh. with Roll what sir. Wow. Jeez. Oh my God. That's the wow. That Misha Herb with Wolf Blitzer. That's Roll oh. what sir. That's a good year. Wow. How did you? Wait, did you did hear not, that and not hear no, Wolf Blitzer? I, I did not hear Wolf Blitzer. You're in the Situation Room with... Wolf Blitzer! <laughs> wow. Why are you screaming Wolf Blitzer in your sleep? I have no idea. I didn't even hear that. God. Thank you so much for gathering this stuff. I think Scott makes a good point. If you want to maybe look into a little $20 microphone, experiment with it one night. Have fun. See what it sounds like. Up next... Thank you so much for enjoying another great episode of Justin Scott and Spiegel Shouldn't Be on TV. And thanks to Dorothy for being part of this episode. She was out at Baltimore Orioles opening day with a killer performance. Check it out. It was the dog. Oh. You said you loved me, but you threw me out in the garbage. And now I'm starting to stink, but everybody thinks I'm flawless. To me, I can't be what you want me to. I just came like this, I'm already black and blue. You said you love me, you threw my life on the sidewalk. You like it when I fall, and you laugh when I run into the wall. You gave nothing, I put my heart out. Coming out of 